Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Farming Simulator 22. This is Evergreen Valley. Guys, I apologize for not getting an episode of this series up recently. I've actually been farming. Uh, it's taken a long time to get these sunflowers in and the entire soybean farm that we planted over there. We're still at 793,000. I was up close to $100,000, but by the time that my guy got done planting and fertilizing and then uh, I had to go get um, herbicide or herbicide to put on our large field over here and uh, that costed me a fortune. So I think last episode, guys, we did, um, I think we did all that stuff over there. I don't remember if I recorded us putting in the lime factory, but I'm going to tab over there real quick. So this is the lime factory. So we put this in right next to the solar power plant. Lime factory is kind of sitting here on the uh, shore. Basically what it does is it generates rocks over time uh, instead of us getting them out of the ground. And uh, then I take them over here and this thing takes rocks and then turns it into to lime and you can see we have a crap ton of lime now which is great so I don't have to go and buy lime this is all our bales from the uh, from this field here so when we cut all this we um, I baled half of it as um, not wheat but hay and then I did the rest of it in in silage so these are all silage marshmallows sitting right here we could probably sell those if we wanted to. Um, I don't know if there was an update to the game or something, but I noticed this when I logged on. Let's go over here to landscape. I noticed that the, um, let's go to paint, I guess. I don't remember what we painted this with. Was it this? Yeah. I noticed that all this grass showed up and we didn't have this here before, so I don't know what happened. And it's at this end too, which is weird. So yeah, something, uh, something funky there. And then I think we used gravel over on this far side. Yeah, we did gravel over here. Cool. All right, just get that touched up. It looks great. All right, cool. Uh, we're still not getting the, uh, you know, this is supposed to generate us like, I don't know, like, what was it? 300 and some thousand dollars or something in a couple months. It didn't. I think the most I've gotten out of this thing was about 40 grand a night. Uh, and that was it. So I don't know. It's, it's, don't use this. It's, that was a waste of our money. It really was. I mean, even though it's generating income, but I'll never get back the money off of that, at least in this series, I don't believe. So yeah, we got um, we got all our soybeans stuck in here. We got 215,000 soybean. We got a crap ton of silage to sell. We got marble blocks to sell. We got uh, a couple months. It is May, so our soybeans are ready. So let's go ahead and get... Where did I park our dump truck? Let's go... There it is right here. I think this thing can haul soybeans. I'm pretty sure that it can. If it can't, then we'll just have to... Uh, with the rent a trailer or something. Um, this little spot here, I don't know what happened. Uh, I think that's where we painted it. And for some reason, when I was planting and having the worker do his thing, he just went around it. I don't know. Kind of weird. But yeah, I think our soybeans today is our big soybean sale day because I think it said it was in the month of May was when... Let me get this off of my screen here. There we go. I think if we go in here and we check in on our stock market thing, it said soybeans. Uh, no, so now it says July. All right, well, it did say May. Uh, if we go down here and look down here, though, our marble blocks are selling at 168000 and that's in May. So we're going to wait in July. What's uh, silage selling for right now? This is in January. We could make 151000 off our silage. I really don't need uh, the silage. So that's something that we could sell. I mean, we're really close on this. I mean, I guess we could wait like a month or so. Um, if that's the case, you know what, I'll just go ahead and put it in here and we'll, oh my god, there must be a little big, or a little bump right there. Let's go ahead and get it in here, and then, uh, or I'll just park here and we'll wait. So let's go jump over to this guy. Let's go grab that marble block and sell it. I'm not going to worry about, uh, cutting it into slabs anymore. We, we've had our fun with the marble uh, what we're trying to get to now is the coal mine, and I think that we will be able to get that here probably in this episode just to see what it's like. And then that's pretty much the last thing I wanted to play with was the was the coal mine. I have gravel, but I just wanted to see how that works, and then uh, I might throw up a couple maps for you guys to 
pick from if you want me to do another series on this. Um, this was just, this series wasn't really meant to be like a long running series. I just wanted to play this map because I played uh, Frontier. New Frontier, is that what it's called? Whatever. The other one that was before this one. And um, I kind of enjoyed it. I didn't understand the whole mechanism with um, uh, with the machine parts and stuff. That was kind of confusing at first. But I ended up figuring it out. So let's get this big boy. And we'll put that on our trailer. And we'll take it up there and sell it. Let's put this down. All right, cool. Uh, it's freaking heavy. All right, let's put this up on here. Yeah, I've had quite a few people join Discord that are farm sim players, which is cool. So, yeah, there is a following for farm sim. There always is. It's just uh, it's not going to be the following that I get on my other videos, which I am totally okay with. I enjoy playing this game. Um, whether people like to watch it or not, I enjoy playing it. I wish that there was more of a... I don't know. I would like to play in the dirt more, but it doesn't really have that unless we did like a mining map. And even mining maps, they're, it's basically this with a bunch of textures on it that we can move around. It's not really, I, I can't do anything with it. I wouldn't mind doing a map that, I know we've done f like cutting trees and stuff. I wouldn't mind doing a map that's just covered in absolute trees and then our goal is to set up an established farm a large farm but in order to do that we're going to, have to cut down all the trees uh plow the ground terraform it do all that stuff get roads in and all that stuff so i don't know if there's a map out there that would allow that if you guys know one those of you that play farm sim if you know a good map that's that would uh, allow us to do that. Uh, put it in the comments. I'd like to know. I've I've tried to look for a couple maps. I wouldn't. I would love to have a crossplay map because we got some people in in Discord that would love to play with me, and I don't mind that at all. Just ignore what I'm doing right now. Just listen to my listen to my voice. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to find a crossplay map if it was available and be able to uh, play with you guys uh, on a large farm. The issue with crossplay maps is. Uh, you console players can't really play on modded. Well, you can't play on modded. You can't play on like large maps. And let's say I got like five or six people that wanted to play. A standard map that we have here in the game is just not going to cut it. Um, you're going to run out of space pretty quickly. So I need something that's like a 4x map and even bigger than that. A 16x map would be awesome. Uh, Nebraska, I think the Nebraska lands or whatever map came out recently. Um, if you haven't seen that, a uh, farmer Klein just did a review on it. Um, pretty cool map. It's flat, not a lot of trees, but that's the kind of map I'm talking about. If there was like a 16 X map that was just trees, which would be hard to do because the amount of trees that the standard game will allow, you have to actually get a mod called more trees that allows you to put more trees down. Uh, but yeah, that would be fun. So Anyways, that's all for that. I think, you know, I'd almost want to bring that truck. I don't know if I can put bales on that truck. I think I can, but you know what? Let's uh, let's grab our truck and let's jump in here. Let's go grab one of these bales because I think my sheep need some food. But we can always sell, sell those bales later. It's not that big of a deal. So let's go grab these. I could always sell my lime if I needed some more cash. We have $928,000, which sounds a lot, but it's... Oh, I forgot this truck has zero brake. It's not really a lot of money uh, for what we need what we need to do in this map at all. All right, there we go. Can I just throw this in here? Boop. All right, strap that bad boy in. And since there's no crops here, I'll just make a Yui. And we'll go get our sheep fed. That's the other thing. I don't know if I, don't know if I really want to keep the sheep. I wouldn't mind doing some other animals. But since I'm not really looking at extending this series too far... Or, t or too many more episodes. I don't know if I want to even get into doing more animals. All right, let's back up here. Let's jump out of our truck. Oh, I forgot to un unleash it. Unleash the silage. All right, will you take this? You will. Awesome. All right, so how much did that give? Okay, so I can still put some uh, hay in here. So let's get a hay bale. And I need to go in square bale hay. That's fine. Just one. There we go. And we'll carry this over here and give them some more food. Poop. That's all the food you needed. That's kind of dumb. Uh, let's go into animals. I just want to see. Yeah, they got enough food. I wish they would take more food. Uh, how many do we got? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. We have 90 sheep. And how many sheep can I hold? I can hold 115. So if they... If they uh, 
I could probably sell some of these though. At four hundred dollars, how much do they cost? To, oh, they don't go up in value. They actually go down in value. Oh, that sucks. Oh, that sucks big time. Okay, well that's dumb. Um, all right. Well, let's get in our truck. Let's turn it off. We'll leave it there. Uh, I bought a new roller. Uh, the roller that we had, it didn't matter. This is the new one. It was like forty grand. I sold our other one. For, I think we got like sixty-eight hundred dollars out of it. For whatever reason, it didn't matter if I repaired it. I couldn't get it to go to the speed that it said that it could go, and it had nothing to do with my. I tried every tractor I had, so I don't know what was going on. So I could only get it to go like six miles an hour, and these are supposed to go like I think nine. Um, but yeah, this one goes normal speed. So I got a new one. Uh, so I parked everything in here. We got, this is a lease tractor. I turned everything else in. We had a semi, a semi trailer. We had a, a weed spreader or a weed sprayer. Um, I'm not going to need this anymore. So let's get rid of that. Let's go into our garage. Uh, that's our garage. Yeah. I don't need this. So let's sell that for $700. Um, I don't need this bucket. So let's sell that for $3,000. And I think that's it, right? I think everything else is pretty cool. Yeah, so it still puts us at 932. Not bad. Um, so yeah, let's let's look at our let's look at our thing real quick. There's nothing else I could sell that says May for the wool. I guess I could do the wool. Um, what could I put that on? I don't want to bring that. I mean, that's a long way to drive. I guess I could go ahead and drive. I think I can get the wool on here. And then what we'll do is we'll sleep for uh, June. And, and then in July, we'll go grab the soybeans. And then the whole reason that we did the sunflowers is so that we could make, I think, if it's possible, is we could make a diesel fuel out of the sunflower seeds. At least that's what the, the thing said you could do. So we'll find out. But yeah, we'll take this over there and get our wool. Take the wool over and sell it. That's thirty grand. That will put us at nine sixty. Uh, that's a pretty good, pretty good number to sit at. And then we got a. I think we'll have enough uh, once we sell the soybeans to buy the um, to buy the mine back there, just to see how it is. <laughs> that's all. That's the only reason I want to do it, is just to see how how it works and what we can do with it. I think we can buy. We might have to lease another factory. We might unlease the marble factory, uh, the marble cutting factory, I should say. I don't mind doing the marble block one because the marble blocks work out pretty well. All right, so can I load? Let's turn this on. Uh, can I load this? All right, it's showing that we can. Uh, disable auto load. Oh, there it is. Dis okay, so it's uh, round bales, bales. I don't want bales. Straw, euro pallets. Is this, would this be it? Yep. All right, cool. Uh, I don't want those, but we'll grab these. Where's my tractor at? I don't want to grab that bail there we go awesome all right so where do we need to take this disable auto load where are we taking this at uh we gotta take the wool to the farm sim depot where is that at tag it uh, um no we are not taking it over there so where's another place to take it? i can't i don't know how to get it on the train guys i don't know how to get it on the train so we'll find another place to sell it <laughs> i've tried uh, let's go to wool and lizard logistics, uh, the fabrics factory. Let's just take it there. Uh, tag that place. Where's that at? Uh, oh, oh, I thought that was pointing at our, our, our place. I'm like, I don't have a fab fabrics place of my, on my farm. All right, let's take this over there and we'll sell it for basically the same price. Man, that factory is really close too, isn't it? I wonder if it'd be beneficial. So we got 10,000 liters of, how much do clothes sell for? Fabric sells for 11,000, clothes sell for 30. Man, maybe we should buy the clothing factory and not sell this and then make money off of clothes. Yeah. Do I want to get into that though? Do I want to get into that? I don't think I want to get into that. We'll just sell this. Yeah, because I'd have to wait the whole process of it making clothes. I'm just not I'm not interested in it in doing that. So let's take it here. We'll just sell all this. There we go. All right. So basically thirty six thousand dollars. All right. So that's done. I'm just going to leave this here for right now. We'll come back and get it. I'm going to tab over to here. All right. Let's go ahead and sleep. I think that was the only thing that we needed to sell. And then uh, we should be good for the rest of the season. Right. So this is May. That's my mining equipment. I don't worry about that marble block. We just, we just did this. I don't have enough. I need There needs to be like 12,000 right here. Uh, so, and the next thing is July, which will give us 880. So that's what I'm looking for. All right, let's do this. Get around here. All right, let's sleep. Sleep the night away. Let's see how much money we actually get from the uh, solar panels. See if I break my record. 
because we haven't really had it for like a summer month. We, we we bought that in what was it like October, I think. So let's see if we actually get a true map. Um, it didn't give us any money, or did it? I mean, our money went way up. Seventy-three thousand. There we go. I mean, that's more like it. So we're at a million. So is our stuff ready? July, eight hundred and eighty. We're at eight hundred twenty. So somebody lied. <laughs> somebody lied to us there. Let's go in here and check soybeans real quick. Soybeans. Um, so the highest price right now is at thirty eight at the Northern Railroad, which I can't get that price though. That's the problem. Yeah, I can't get. Uh, I don't know where this maximum price is coming from though. Uh, let's go back to this price fluctuations June and then July it shows that it drops. All right, should we try it and wait? Man, that's a that's a lot of money if we don't. Um, should we try it and wait? So it's going up. I don't I don't think we should I don't think we should try it. I think we should go and sell it. It's at 3800, but I can't get that at the Northern Railroad. Can I where is this at? Northern Railroad? Is that? That's over there too. Crap. All right, let me look at something real quick. Maybe we just aren't doing something right. Let's run over here. This is water pumping, rent train, Northern Railroad. So that's the railroad. And that's where it says I need to sell it, right? So if I rent the train, let's go over here. If I rent the train, how do I get the crop in the train? That's what I want to see. Let's go ahead and rent the train. I just want to see something here real quick. Uh, rent the train. And then how do I get the crop? Because if I get the crop in there, like there's a ramp here, right? But how do you get the crop? into it because there's not a place to fill uh, in here is there like what is this what is this i don't know what this is uh this is what this is water pumping i don't know what the water pumping does yeah i see i don't have a way i'd have to get like an auger or something or is there another railroad joint if this is the railroad uh let's just go here is there uh, you know what? The train goes here. The train goes there. Grain silo. That's where it's at. You put it in the grain silo, and then it probably dumps it into the train. Yes. Does this have a dump on the train side? It does. Okay, so it's right here. All right. Uh, can I jump in the train while it's moving? I can't because I've just rented it, so we got to wait. Okay. So I need to take the grain here then. Grain silo, grain silo, rent train. All right, I hope that this is what we have to do. So let's go ahead and fill up. Uh, we need our soybeans. I think this holds 100 grand or 100,000 liters. While that's filling up, let's go up here and grab the train. We'll wait. Oh, I'm at the wrong spot. Uh, train's coming up here. Rent train. All right, we'll wait for it. And then we'll drive it down to that place and then... Let's see if that's how I do it. I've always tried to do it up here, but I, that's got, like I said, I don't know how to get the, the grain in it up here. And that's probably why, because the grain is down at the other end. So this thing's backing up. Okay. All right. Can I just jump in? It's been so long since I've driven a train. Can I drive it? Sweet. All right. Let's drive this bad boy. It goes up to 74 miles per hour. Check us out. That's pretty fun. I haven't driven a train in forever. It's train time. All right. So we're going to take this to the grain mill. We'll drive our truck over there, dump one load in. I want to see how much this holds, though. I don't know what the capacity of this thing is. And then we can get this. I guess I just uh, drive it into the northern edge of the map and see where it goes. So that would probably be like wood chips and stuff there. And this is fun. I've driven a train in so long. It's so much faster to get across the map. I'm seeing if there's like any things, uh, anything that has uh, a barrel next to it. Like maybe we missed a barrel. All right. Slow your roll. Slow your roll. Okay. Takes a minute to slow down forgot all right we need to we need to back our butt up and i'm guessing it's these first two here yeah i'm guessing it's this one here no 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 stop 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 all right turn train off go back here we have a hundred thousand hundred thousand liters right, we're gonna drive this over and dump it my truck just farted hopefully this is right if it's not i'm just gonna i'll i'll dump this if we lose it i'll dump it and then we'll just uh remember it was like what was it, 880,000? We'll just give us that amount of money. But I think this is I think this is the proper way of doing it. Oh, look, our sunflowers have sunflowers on them. Awesome. All right, I think I'm going to have a problem, though, dumping in here because of the way that this thing dumps. The bed goes up so freaking far. Uh, we might we might be okay. I might have to dump it like a couple times. Cause unless nothing in here has collision on it, which would be great if it didn't. I remember doing this once inside one of these and it went completely berserk. And I could not get it out of the out of the building. 
Like, it just jumped all over the place. All right, cool. Let's go jump in the train and see if that is actually... I, I'm i pretty sure that we're doing this right. And we'll put this in the train. All right, can I fill? Awesome. All right, that is what we got to do. Cool. All right, let me go get the uh, other load because we got, what, 100... We actually had 223,000. So I'm going to do it twice. But let me get the other loads. We'll put it in here. How much does this actually hold, though? I think this holds 100,000. Well, it's, it shows that it's got... a. It's got two two levels on it. Yeah. So I don't know what I think it'll all fit in here. So yeah, let me go get let me go get the other two loads. I'll bring you guys back when it's uh, all full. Alright, let's see if this train works for us. We gotta drive backwards, because if I go forwards, I end up going into like Goldcrest Valley or something like that. Whatever's connected in the south. This thing doesn't loop around, so it goes north to south. So we'll push the back of it. That's the cool thing about trains. They can go either way. So there's uh, 215,000 liters on here. I'll have to write that down. 215,000. Just in case something screwy goes on. All right. And we should get... We should get... Oh, it's not even on there anymore. What was it like 880,000? All right. Here we go. Let's see if we get it. Do I got to jump out? $823,000. Woo! That was fun. All right. <laughs> We got $1.8 million. That's a freaking awesome. We probably have a, a block of uh, marble down there, too. We do, which I could get $143,000 more out of. Uh, we could sell all our lime if we wanted to, too. Um, but what I wanted to do, I want to buy this now. So now that we have the money, let's buy this. And this is going to cost us uh, $1.2 million. Buy it. All right. And now, if I go get, if I go get my truck... Uh, oh, my crap. That was the right truck. This... Oh, man, turn it back on. I should be able to get coal, right? Let's go see. And I don't even remember why we wanted the coal to begin with. <laughs> I really don't. Was there something like the really interesting about coal? Uh, let's just go in here and see. So coal, I think the plant actually produced something that we needed. I forget what it was, though. Uh, let's see. We got um, mineral coal. Maybe that's what it was. Yeah, I totally forget why we even freaking needed that now. But that's okay. Um, so we needed the, we need that to make the coal. I think we actually need the, I don't know if we need the coal m factory or if we need the coal generator. I don't think we need to do the coal power facility. I think that's the coal generator one because we can produce our own power with our fuel. The only problem is, is the fuel, which we're going to make with our soybeans. So we'll, we'll take care of that on our own. Uh, but I think if we go up there now, I get unlimited. I'm just going to. Don't worry. Don't worry about this. I know it's not. I know it's not legit. People don't drive through their fields. Just whatever. Um, I think if we go up there now, I get free coal, like as much as I want. I'm pretty sure. Let's go over here and check. All right, we're just gonna drive through this guy's field too. I know it's not. I know it's not real. I'm just excited that we got it. Just close your eyes. I'll let you know when we're back on the normal road, so that you, some of you, some of you guys, don't get triggered that I don't drive on the roads. All right, I'm back on the road. You can you can resume watching. All right, so if I turn here, and then we go down here to this monster of a machine. That's the whole reason I bought this dump truck. Like we've had this dump truck since like episode three, and I believe that all of it is mine. All your coal belongs to us. All right, if I cut that sign down, all these little things go away, but I don't want to do that. All right, so are you serious? Open cover. All right, I am, I am I just not doing it right? Does this truck not hold coal? Isn't that coal right there? Yeah, this is coal. Hmm. Is there like a certain spot that I got to hit? Is there something around here that I got to click on? Was this a total fail to begin with? Yeah, that's the dumping place. I don't have to buy anything else on this property, do I? No. Like we own all this. Whoops, I didn't mean to do that. But here's the weird thing. It doesn't show that there's a fill point here. That's what's weird. What's this sign say? Remove objects on farmland. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I mean, we can if we wanted to. Here, it's all gone. So all the coal's gone. I'm just afraid this truck doesn't hold coal. And if it doesn't, man, uh, that's kind of disappointing. That's real disappointing. So why would this not, why would this not work? Is there a truck that came with the, with the map? So let's go down here and let's click on Evergreen Valley. And we got this dumper here, this case dumper that had the thing on the front of it. Yeah. Um, What is on sale? Anything cool on sale? This little Yuri truck. That's rocks. That's that coal. Um, Yeah, guys, I don't know. That's kind of disappointing. I'm not going to lie. I don't, think, I don't think there's anything over here. 
that we have to like turn on or anything, is there? No. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's do something real quick. Let it, let's go into here. So let's go to this coal mine. Let's visit this. Can I re can I lease this? Okay, I'm leasing it. Okay. So this takes in this produces coal using a recipe, mineral coal. All right, so that produces mineral coal. Now does this work? Yes. All right, so we actually had to buy that. This is where it comes from. Oh. So I did did I even need to buy this land? I bet I didn't even need to buy this land. What happens if I sell this back? Sell. You cannot sell this land while you still own placeable objects on it. Ah, oh, crap. Yeah, that's what it is. Actually, I don't own any placeable items on it. Does this count as a placeable item? Hmm, or are they talking about my truck? They might be talking about my truck. I hope we, if we, if we screwed up, I'm gonna refund myself the amount of money that we lost. Oh, look, there is another, there is another thing of coal down here. I, or whatever, collect. How much? A hundred grand. That makes me happy. That saved the episode right there. <laughs> that saved the episode. All right, so there was a barrel there. I could turn this all into farm field. It'd be a waste of time though. It'd be kind of cool though to see like corn growing all the way around that thing. All right, let's go up here. Oh God, there we go. I got automatic flip back on. I'm, I'm just kidding, that's not a real thing. So I can't sell it. All right, if I park here, can I sell it now? Where am I parked? I'm parked way over here. Can I sell this now? You cannot sell this, still in placeable objects on it. Um, are you talking about, is it because I'm leasing this? Let's do this. Let's uh, cancel the lease. Yes, and then go do it. X, sell. Okay, now we can sell this. And now I can lease this. Okay, actually, you know what? Let's just, no, let's just buy it. We'll just buy it. How much does it cost to buy? 450 grand, I'm okay with that. We have the money. Now, am I still able to get the crap out of it? That's what we gotta find out. So let's just um, let's just do something real quick here. I'm not gonna like take the straight or the path down. I'm just gonna leap off the edge here. And then if we're able to get it, man, we just spent like four episodes trying to get money and we didn't really need to. All right, uh, let's just jump. Oh, I didn't need to jump off the edge. We could just, I thought there was another like big cliff. All right, so does this allow me to fill still? Yes, oh my God, you didn't even need to buy this property. That's hilarious. All right, so all I gotta do then, all I gotta do is go into our factories now that I own that, and this is going to produce coal, stones, dirt, sand, and iron ore. We just need this stuff up here. Okay, does iron ore and mineral coal sell for a lot? I don't know. It shows that it produces quite a bit. That'd be what, like 48,000 coal a night? I can upgrade this for what, 400 night? Let's just do it. So this is gonna, this is gonna do 2,000, this is gonna do 100,000 a night? Wow, or no, wait, that's five, yeah, 100,000 a night, 100,000 coal a night. And how much can I, can I buy that, or can I sell that stuff for? Uh, there's iron ore, $400,000. We're gonna be making like $300,000 a day. Are you serious? That's fantastic. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, okay, well, let me do, uh, let's do one thing real quick. Let's do one thing. I'm gonna go get, oh God. I'm gonna go buy all the stuff and bring it over here. And then I'll bring you guys back and we'll we'll simulate it to July. Cause I think in July, my sunflowers might be ready. I don't know, but I just wanna see if we're not going to get like a full a full thing of it but i want to see if if that's if that's the actual case we get like 300,000 liters of it cuz i got i got one of the machine i got one of these already at the store so i'll just go grab it i'll put it on that little flatbed that we own and then i'll bring the rest of the stuff over here so just give me a couple minutes i'll be right back okay i spent uh i spent some i don't i think it's like $65,000 total for all that stuff um it took Vehicle parts, it, I mean, uh, each vehicle part crate is only a thousand vehicle parts, so I, I end up bar, uh, bringing over three of those. Uh, but yeah, so this has been running since we were doing it this morning, and you can already see the mineral coal is up to 30,000 mineral coal, and it's 3,000 per thousand. So there's $90,000 in mineral coal that we have already. That's freaking ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, that's like... 
that's ridiculous. Now, I don't know. I guess we could sell it to the energy place. I don't know what this place here does, though. This is the coal. This is a power plant that uses coal. It's an energy plant that we could sell the mineral coal to, I guess, or we could use it. But yeah, this is where it would, this is ultimately where it would go. So that's awesome. All right, let's tab back over to the house. Um, I had to move the thing and put some, there was gas still in here and these things needed to be uh, refilled. So yeah, there, and I actually have a surplus. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Uh, there we go. I had a surplus, uh, if we go in here and look in, in the factories, uh, we had a surplus of energy. So it's all been, oh, actually, oh, it's completely out again. Holy crap. All right. I think it only takes like 1500 gallons here. Let's do this like that. And then put it back on here. It's so hard to back it up because you got to get it like right in the right position. All right. So I don't want to run out of power. Oh crap. Well, that just screwed everything up. Good thing we have a strength on. All right. Do that. Jump in here. Lock that in. All right. So let's, yeah, you got to get it like right on the nut, on the nose. I hate this. I'm not very good on these, uh, backing up things that have their own steering. So we just like force it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> but see, it only takes like 1500. That's what, that's what I don't like. It doesn't, it only takes like 500 liters of fuel. It's so stupid. All right. All right. All right. Anyways, so that's that. Um, is it not going to do it? There we go. Yeah, that's all it's going to take. All right. Let's jump in our, let's sleep one day and just see what happens in July. I'm just curious. And then we'll end this episode. It's been a while since I've recorded this. So I was kind of excited about playing. So let's go ahead and sleep. We'll probably run out of energy. Uh, we got seventy-five thousand uh, dollars in that month for our solar panel. I'll see what we get in this month. It'd be great if it was like over that. Uh, another seventy-three thousand. So basically, that's the max that it's doing it. Okay, that makes sense. All right, let's see what did we produce. So we're completely out of charge. Uh, and this is just this. This thing's probably hogging up all the charge. It is. It took all of it. So that's where it is. Okay. So mineral our mineral coal. We're at nine, almost a hundred thousand mineral coal. So that right there is like 300 grand. That's ridiculous, guys. <laughs> it's stupid. That's like free money. It really is. All right, so our soybeans are here. Uh, and they're growing. And then if we tabbed over to... Let's go over to here. Eh, right here. Our sunflowers are... Oh, they're not even tall yet. All right, so we still got a ways to go before these are even done. Yeah, we got we got some time. I wish it would tell, like, what stage of growth that they're on. I forget what mod that is that tells the growth. Like, it says, like, stage one of seven or one of whatever. Um, but we could probably just look at our, our this thing, and it shows sunflowers... Oh, not until October? Wow, those take a long time to grow, don't they? So sunflowers and soybeans are going to be done at the same time. Well, that sucks. So we still got a long ways to go. I don't think we have anything else that we could sell right now that would make us any, like, good money. Everything is down. Other than uh, our mineral coal, which is at $400,000 in March. And then we got our marble blocks that we got to sell. All right. Looks like we got a lot of money, guys, which is cool. Uh, let's check what's on here real quick. Anything cool? Is there a... Is there a harvester? There's no harvesters. Okay, that sucks. There's actually nothing good on here. Yeah, none of this is good. That's the one that we have that I'm leasing. But yeah, there's nothing good on here. I should have bought that harvester when we had the chance. That sucks. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smack the like button. It's a subscribe button. And uh, we are close to probably ending the series. I just want to see... Uh, I'll sell some coal, um, and then we'll we'll get rid of all this. I'll probably harvest this, and at the end of the season, that's probably gonna be all we're gonna do on this one. Unless you guys want to see something else on this, I still need to get this. But I gotta figure out how to get a car in here. I think I might have to delete something, or I don't know if there's a fence out front I can get through. There is, but it doesn't open. Okay, um, but yeah, that's the only other one that I need to get. I didn't know there was one in the coal. I've checked with uh, some other people that played this game. And they were telling me that's the last one. So they didn't tell me anything about the one under the coal. Maybe they didn't know about that one either. I don't know. But yeah, guys, I will catch you in the next episode.